Hello everyone, today is a very special day. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing. This box right over here. I am going to unbox what I ordered from eBay and it's something very very cool. Something that is very special to my heart. And today we are going to unbox it. What is it? Well, we'll find out in a few minutes. Let's go unbox. As you, uh, as many of you might know, I am a big Washington Redskins fan. Uh, we have won three Super Bowls in the past and two NFL championships. But uh, a few weeks ago, somebody decided that the name was inappropriate. So they decided to retire the name Redskins. And I was very sad when that happened. 88 years of, of honor and tradition and glory just all down the toilet. So that inspired me to buy something that I haven't bought before. That inspired me to buy this item right here. And I will unbox it for you right now. Okay, here we go. I bought this on eBay from Steel City Collectibles in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania for $250. And it has arrived today, and I will now unbox it for everyone. As you can see, it comes in a nice cardboard box, like this, nice big box. I've already uh, unloaded the, uh, uh, cut off the top tape, so it's already open so let's open it and let's see what's inside okay as you can see this is what is inside is another box it's a box within a box so here to go here we go are we are you ready are you ready ready and yeah look at that let's get rid of that box this is a, a Riddell speed replica helmet the Washington Redskins as you can see, the box is quite beautiful. You can already see a little tease of what's going on, what's inside the box. Just that, and the bottom is not much. So now we will unbox it, and we will take it out of the box to see what it's like. Yes, I can already see. And it's a very beautiful thing. Oh yeah, look at that. Ooh, baby. Let's get rid of that box. It's got a little plastic cover on it. We get rid of the plastic cover. We can see that the helmet is beautiful and it's burgundy and gold with a gold face mask and the beautiful logo on the front, on the side I mean, on both sides that is. And as you can see the gold face mask over here. And inside is like this. It's not a real helmet, it's mainly for display. So you can't really wear it, but that's okay. That's what that's my main purpose for is for display anyway. And that's the back right there. That's the front. And as you can see, it's a beautiful, beautiful helmet. Made by Riddell. And it's a speed helmet replica of the Washington Redskins. The now retired Washington Redskins logo and name. And I love it. I love it very much. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, my Riddell Speed uh, Helmet Replica of uh, Washington Redskins Football Helmet Replica. And you can see how beautiful it is from the side and from the back. This is the new style Speed, uh, speed Style Helmet. And you can see the face mask is pretty ornate. And the front, it has the yellow and uh, white stripe on the top and on the side. Oh, I forgot. It also has a autograph of a former player, Darius Juice. Yes. And he didn't actually wear this helmet. He just autographed it and they sold it, as you can see. And as you can see inside, 
it's not a real helmet that you can wear because you see there's a little barrier in there and so you can't really wear it but you know I'm not I wasn't really planning on wearing it I just wanted to I just wanted to uh, display it to honor the tradition and and uh, history of the great team that was called the Washington Redskins There you go, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Hello everyone. Welcome to another unboxing video of mine. Today, we will unbox this wonderful package right here. It's a package that I ordered from Steel City Collectibles in Pennsylvania, and I'm sure I'm going to love it, and I'm sure you're going to love it as well. So let's go ahead and unbox it right now. As you can see, it's a nice little box. What could be inside though? I will surprise you and you will find out in a few minutes. Let's open it first. All right. This is my first time opening it too. I haven't seen what's inside yet. So let's see what's inside here. Ooh, okay. We got a nice box here. We got a nice uh, packaging. Packaging material there. Look at that. Here's a receipt. All right, yeah, that's good. Okay, get rid of that. And now, I ordered two items. The first one is this one. Let's see what it is. Oh, yes, look at this. Uh, this is the first item. This, my friends, is a replica NFL helmet of the Washington Redskins. It's the old school helmet. See that? It's the old school Washington Redskins helmet that they used between 1970 and 1971. Isn't that beautiful? It's uh, it's yellow with the big R on it and the feather on the side. And you know what the best part is? It's autographed by the great Sonny Jurgensen, the great quarterback for the Washington Redskins at the time. It's a beautiful. Riddell replica helmet with the warning label on the back and inside we have some padding. Oh, it's actually Actually, I can I can probably wear it if it's a little too big though. I Mean it's a little too small, but I can I can probably wear it if My head were smaller and it's got the uh, big R uh, logo on there and then it's got the gray face mask the Yellow helmet and the red stripe on the top as you can see, that's a beautiful, this was worn by the Redskins between the 1970 or 1971 and 1972 season. So it's a throwback, it's a throwback helmet. This thing cost me about $209 from Steel City Collectibles. They're my favorite uh, sports memorabilia company right now, as you can see. There it is. Isn't that beautiful? That's beautiful. Okay, that's number one. Let's go ahead and open up box number two. Oh yes, here is another beautiful box. See that? Oh yeah. Open it up. Let's see what we got here. As you can see, it's another Washington Redskins helmet. This is a more modern helmet though. This was a helmet that, uh, kind of helmet that was popular uh, in the 80s and 90s. And uh, it's also a Riddell, but not a Speed Flex. It's just a regular Riddell. And it's got the new Washington Redskins logo on it. And uh, as you can see, it's burgundy with the yellow stripe and white stripe on the top and a yellow face mask and the logo on both sides and inside it's not a replica it's an actual helmet you can I can stick my head in but yeah see all that inside and this is also uh, autographed by Darius Juice now a former Washington Redskins player because he was released by the team last week 
because uh, he was uh, charged with domestic violence. So they had to release him. And uh, this was, that's his autograph right there. There he is, Juice. And as you can see, this one has a yellow face mask. And inside, it's like that. And this one cost me $179. It was on sale from Steel City Collectibles. I imagine it's on sale because Darius Juice is no longer on the team and he's a disgraced player. So that's what happens when you're a disgraced player. All your autographed items become discounted. Anyway, this is a beautiful Washington Redskins helmet. Uh, it's, uh, it's got the rear bumper there. I plan to put like a redskin sticker on there on the rear bumper and a redskin sticker on the front bumper and other things maybe like a flag US flag here maybe a, like a warning label here like the authentic helmets but this is very cool this is so cool I love it there you go ladies and gentlemen the unboxing of the two Washington Redskins helmets that I ordered from Steel City Collectibles over here. There they are. This is the thumbnail right here. Or maybe that's the thumbnail. What do you think? That could be a good thumbnail. Okay. Well, thank you for watching my unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it, especially for you, uh, all you Redskins fans out there. Hail to the Redskins! Hail to the Redskins! Hail victory! Praise on the warpath! Fight for all we see! Run our pass and score, we won a lot more. Beat them, swap them, touch them, let the points soar. Fight on, fight on, till you have won, sons of Back at the mall. I'm here to check out another sports uh, merchandise place. But I don't go to this mall too much, so I'm going to go check out the, the map here, the floor plan. There's the floor plan. I don't even know what it's called. It's called sports something. Somewhere out here. Well, here's A, so Sport Nation would be somewhere down there, see? There's Port Nation. Can't see. But where are we? We are in the lower level by JC Penny. We are right here. So we walk all the way up this hallway and then make a right at the Zales. And then that's where it'll be. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so uh, it is uh, Saturday, September 5 or 6, I'm not sure. But I'm at the mall. Springfield Town Center is what it's called. And I'm looking for the Sports Nation place. To look for some more, you know, the usual kind of Redskins merchandise that, I, that I'm always looking for. So let's go there now. Yeah, I don't come here too often. This is my first time back here in maybe three or four months. Yeah, but I did used to live around here. I used to live around here. I used to come here all the time, all the time. Let's make a right over here and the Sport Nation should be right, right up ahead. Should be right up ahead if I'm correct. Uh, if I'm right, should be right up ahead. I don't see it though. Could be that thing on the corner, except I can't see it. Okay, I found it. It's right here. Sport Nation. Let's go in there and check and see what they got. Looks like they got a lot of stuff here. Let's see. Okay. I'm at the sports store. I'm the only one here. Looking for more Redskin stuff. 
They got a lot of Redskin stuff. It's a little, it's just a little too expensive. You know what I'm saying? They got a bunch of mini helmets, but no Redskins helmets. They got Raiders. And they got Redskins pillows. More helmets. Still no Redskins helmets, though. No Falcons, Saints, Packers. Vikings. The Riggins jersey. John Riggins. You can never have enough John Riggins jerseys. Dwayne Haskins. Ryan Kerrigan. How about a tie? You want a tie? 1995. <laughs> Redskins map, floor map, look at that. Head covers for your car. Now well, we got a lot of stuff, but none of, nothing I want to buy. Got more clocks down here, but no Redskin clocks. Got decals. The Redskin decals. All right, uh, this came from the sports store. Couldn't find anything. So now I'm kind of just uh, walking around the mall. Okay. All right, walking around the mall. There's a Pandora over there. There's an American Eagle Express over here. I think the food court is this way. Maybe I gotta. I am kind of hungry. Maybe I'll just eat at the food court for a while. If the food court is open, that is. If it's open, it's probably going to be social distancing seating. Limited seating. So, thus I need to wash my hands. Because I've been out shopping. Well, here's the food court. Look at these cool face masks, huh? Yeah, well, not much social distancing at the food court. Let's go to the lids. Here's the lids. There's another store I go to. Lid sells mainly hats because, you know, you know I like hats. So let's go check out the lids. Okay? Okay. Well, nothing at the lids either. So let's just go to the, let's go to the Target over here and see what we can find there. Okay? Target's just over here around the corner. Oh, the Target is closed. Oh my god, dude. What's going on? The uh, Target isn't closed, just the top level is closed. You can come in through the bottom level. The lower level. But not the top level. Look at this place. This reminds me of an old arcade. The ones I used to go to when I was a kid. Not an old video game, video machines here. That I used to play. How many of these are off? This was nice. I think I used to play that. Police trainer, I used to play that. Area 51, I think I used to play that. And of course, the legendary Mortal Kombat. Alright, uh, I think I'll just go. 
I'm tired. And I'm tired. I just want to go back home. Here's the JC Penney's where I park. This is where I park. Let's go in there and go through the back and go back to my car. Cutting through the men's section to get to the parking lot. I can almost smell the parking lot. I can almost smell the parking lot. The fresh air of the parking lot. And I can finally... I can finally go. Take off my mask. Yeah. Here we go. Out we go. Woo. Parking lot. All right. Here's the big parking lot. And here's the outdoor parking lot. And there's the dicks. Well, uh, it's a beautiful day, beautiful weekend. It's a Labor Day weekend, so it's a three day weekend. So I guess a lot of people are out and about doing whatever they can, uh, you know, to take advantage of this beautiful day today. As am I. Although I only went shopping at the mall and looking for more Redskin stuff as usual. Because that's what I do now. I just go out and look for Redskin stuff. As much Redskin stuff as I can find. Okay. Getting my car fixed. Not here at the uh, the auto parts store to look for some parts for my car. I do need some spray paint for my car. My car is developing a few rusty spots, and I need this color here, Universal Silver, to cover it up. I think I'll get one of these. I'll get one of these. These oil filter sockets. You'll need these when you replace the oil filter in your car. Ooh, they're pretty heavy. Wow. Isn't that cool? I may come back to the auto zone later to look for more, some more stuff, but now I want to go somewhere across the street while I'm waiting for my car to be serviced. It's uh, kind of early in the morning. Well, not that early. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. Saturday morning, holiday weekend. And I thought I'd take my car in for service. This used to be the party depot. But now, they're gone. Just another victim of COVID. All right, let's go across the street here to uh, to the dollar store across the street. I thought this guy would have crossed by now, but... Anyway, this is a major street here. I gotta cross this major street to get to the other side. See, this guy's crossing right here. All right, welcome to the dollar store, everyone. My favorite place. Everything here is a dollar. Hanging out here while my car is being serviced. Look at this plastic flag, man. Look at this plastic flag. Isn't that a cool plastic flag? Made in China, probably. Actually, no, this, I was wrong. This flag is made in USA. Yay! Finally, something at the dollar store that's made in USA. But I'm betting these are not though. These are cheap ones. See, this is more a better quality than this one. That's why this is made in USA. This is made in China. Look, they're already starting to sell these winter hats. Yep. Winter hats. That means winter is near. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. Ooh, I needed these numbered stickers, but I needed it in red, man. Oh, that's perfect. That's what I needed, but I needed it in red. Uh, here's a gun. An orange gun. You got a gun. You got binoculars. You got a knife. And a grenade. 
That's important, the grenade. Some little soldier guys. Look at that. I remember playing these when I was a little kid. Hours and hours of fun. There's some robot fighters. Put it in your hand and you battle it out with somebody else. Some little tiny little skateboards for tiny little people. Tiny little skateboarders. Look at that. It's a ball with little shiny things inside. You got a red one, you got a green one. Hmm. Does it bounce? Oh, oh, it lights up. Look at that. Damn. That's pretty cool. Lights up. Not only does it have little shiny things inside, it lights up when you when you bounce it. It's like something out of Superman, huh? Pretty cool. That's it. Look at that, an Aquaman action figure. This is John Cena. And this is... This is Patrick from Spongebob, huh? And there's uh, Woody from Toy Story. And this is, of course, Buzz Lightyear. To infinity and beyond! To infinity and beyond! Well, my grandson will be turning three soon, so I better buy him like a balloon that says three on it. That's a four, another four, a nine and a two, another four, where are the threes, man? No threes? Really? I guess a lot of kids are turning three. We got these, uh, these stress balls here. See? If you're feeling pressured, feeling stressed, just <coughs> squeeze your balls. Check out these nunchucks, man. Wow. Look at that. You can find your inner Bruce Lee. The green one? No, the black one. The black one looks more badass. Look at that. Oh, yes. Black nunchucks. Well, they still don't have disinfectant spray here. I lucked out one time and got myself a couple of uh, cans of it. But ordinarily you won't find any. Like right now nothing. What kind of books they got over here at the dollar store? Well, they got the Bible, of course. The good book. And they got these other books here. What is this? The deepest secret is in you. Blood and sand and water, too. Ah, okay, well, uh, guess I'll just get these numbers and I got brushes and I've got sandpaper for my projects. It's a good haul here at the dollar store.